Hello, how are you? Let's just have a chat about Comet Elenium, shall we? Now then, this is the way I see it. This is my conclusion on Comet Elenium. Right. Now, it's either one of two things. I'm saying the obvious here. Okay, now, either Comet Elenium is something sinister, you know, like a ELE, an extension level event, it's maybe connected to Nibiru, um, a Jupiter-sized planet or brown dwarf, or something that's going to cause havoc, wreak havoc, cause cataclysms on the Earth, just like people are saying, just like the movie Deep Impact. Okay, either that's the case, or, or it's business as usual. Nothing will take place as far as Comet Elenium is concerned and that it's just going to be an ordinary lame ass comet just zipping through doing its rounds and nothing will transpire right? either one or the other however this is my conclusion there is so much, so, so much um, talk of a linen being something sinister. Okay, so we'll talk about option A. There's so much talk of it being something sinister. And why is this? Where does it come from? Well, it's coming from the scientific community. It's coming from media and government. Okay, so there is a media blackout on Comet Elenium. If you, if you go onto um, mainstream news sources and search for articles or video on Comet Elenium, there actually is none. However, there are hints towards um, upcoming cataclysms. The last video I posted on my channel was a clip from RT News saying how, um, you know, scientists are expecting an increase of intensity in cataclysms as 2011 progresses. You've got the Russian government declaring that the comet Elenium is intelligently controlled and making preparations. There are other governments making preparations. All the governments are making bloody preparations. Um, it's just that they're not all outspoken about it. I mean, what about these deep underground military bases and all the money going into it and the speeding up of its, you know, uh, the, the speeding up of, of, of them being built. Um, there's, there is so much, so much, and then there's all this, like, ancient prophecy as well, from numerous sources, the Bible, um, Hopi, Mayan, um, Sumerian, obviously, that's where Nibiru, that's where the term Nibiru comes from. Um, there's like loads of it, and then you've got individuals of of ancient times, as well as cultures and religions. You know, individuals such as Shipton and Merlin and Nostradamus, and all uh, describing something in our time that could easily be explained by the passing of a celestial object. Um, so, you know, when you couple ancient prophecy with modern day um, scientific predictions, now, now we're getting controversial because there are scientists, okay, that uh, play down the passing of Comet Elenium and say, ah, oh, you know, it's just a ball of ice and it's no big deal and it's very insignificant and nothing will happen, right? But it's like, it's the most controversial comet ever. There's never been such a controversial comet. There's never been such anticipation for a comet ever. Well, not to my knowledge. Maybe you can correct me on that. But um, it is major suspicious, if you ask me. Comet Elenium, right? And I'm not going to go into all the details, right? Because I'm talking about, I've done hours upon hours upon hours of research 
on Comet Elenium and I've looked at both sides. I've looked at the, uh, um, you know, <coughs> the scientists that are very, very mainstream and, uh, uh, you know, and, and those that are controversial. And those who are controversial, they outnumber those who are so-called sensible, okay? And then it's like, you know, in my hours and hours of research, and not just research of like, of, of, of the details of Comet Elenium, right? But also like, little subtle media psyops as well. Okay, these things too, right? And when you take it all into the all into account, my conclusion is that if Comet Elenium is nothing, right? Here's the deal, right? Now get this, get this, because this is the major part of this video, right? This is this is my message right here. All that's been said so far is for this right here. Okay. I believe that around September, October, November of 2011, there's going to be major events on the air. Right? I do believe that completely. And I'll set myself up for embarrassment if I'm wrong. But I do believe that September, October, November is going to be eventful. And it's going to be major right now if it is nothing whatsoever to do with comet Elenin, right i believe and this is my prediction it will be blamed on comet Elenin because of all the psyops all the mental preparation you know globally right and it's not now there's still tons of people on the earth that's never heard of comet Elenin, right but they will they will because you know word will spread like wildfire when these events start kicking off it's like everyone's going to jump on the comet Elenin bandwagon now I believe that quite possibly comet Elenin it's all going to happen the way you know and all these earth changes it, it could it could be all to do with comet Elenin however right this is my point if it is not if a comet Elenin is nothing right it could be right that it's all psychologically geared that will accept it as comet and linen, right? All the, all the, all the, uh, right, it, here's the thing, right? Technology exists for weather weapons, right? We, we can, we can trigger earthquakes, we can trigger volcanoes, we can trigger tsunamis, we can, we can do all kinds of shit, all kinds of evil shit, we can trigger this shit, right? We can create cataclysms, right? But it's oh, isn't it great, right? A nation, say or or say half, right, can can create a cataclysm in a country as an act of war, right, or to carry out some kind of agenda, right. And it's fantastic because there's no finger pointing at them because it's deemed an act of God, right, quote unquote, right. It's like, okay, well, hey, all these people have died, well, you know, it's just, that's just life. You know, it's an act of God, it's, it's a linen, right? It's, it's something beyond our control, there's no one to blame here, it's comet a linen, right? I, I, right, it could also be a distraction, right? See, like, everyone's attention is going to be on comet a linen, right? So, you see, like, these sick fucks, right, that are doing all their sick fuck things, right, on the globe, well they can get on and do it, can't they? And that's nothing new, because when, it's very easy for the media to distract the population, right, with something, while something more sinister is going on. It happens all the time, that's nothing new, yeah? While there are major things going on on the earth or in humanity, right? They could be like broadcasting some lame 
insignificant shit and everyone's glued to it and sucked in by it. it happens all the time yeah or you can create big media hype on a major event while a smaller event is going on but a more sinister event you see the media doesn't report every single thing that goes on on the planet every day that's not what happens no there is there's lots of things going on every day on this planet right but the media selects the things that they want to report now it's not the media select it's the people behind the media the people who control the media the people who control the media inform the media okay right you're going to talk about this this and this and don't even go down this road with these things right you see there are things going on in this world that most people have never that, that have, no, have no clue what's going on yeah because just simply because most people right or sheeple are steered right psychologically mentally right their thought life their attention is steered right and when the news is over then there's something waiting for them on on another channel some kind of entertainment just to kind of you know keep them steered in the right direction basically right so going back to a linen right with a linen when all the shit kicks off right and i believe it will because this there's just far too much preparation for for this coming september october november right collectively conscious the collective consciousness of the earth right is in anticipation of september october november even people who have never heard of Elinin, right? On a subconscious level, everyone is in, is in anticipation for September, October, November. Even if you don't realise it, you are, right? Ever heard of predictive programming? That movie Deep Impact, right? It's like there are people who have become conscious and they've actually made connections consciously, right? Of um, the similarities, the coincidences between the movie Deep Impact and reality, the reality of Comet Elinin, right? But those who have not made the connections consciously, people will make those connections on a subconscious level when the time comes. And I'm sure Deep Impact is just one little tool in the uh, toolbox as well. I'm sure there's, um, uh, I'm sure there's, I mean, there's all sorts little things little things i mean do you remember i talked about one time about this whole psyops of a second sun right um because you know maybe there's going to be a second sun right and it's like for a particular because of a particular reason right but if the governments are aware that a second sun is going to appear in the sky then they're going to think okay well how are we going to explain that one so they're now talking about beetle guys is going to supernova and it's going to the light from it is going to finally get to us sometime around 2012 and we're going to see a second sun in the sky for a period of time so then when it happens it's like when it happens people will believe what they want them to believe regarding this event right whether it be true or not but people don't question is this true or not people don't not the sheep all anyway uh, so anyway it's either right just a, a recap comet Elenin is either um, a fulfillment of prophecy of ancient prophecy of various sources and it's going to be like earth changes armageddon doomsday new age whatever i have my personal beliefs but i won't bring that into it so either that or it's going to be a smoke screen for um some disgusting acts of evil via harp or whatever um, some something to bring about the new world order into fruition to speed it up to accelerate it right to create fear and panic therefore people are asking for new leadership for change and all this help and martial law and god knows right but you know that could all be blamed on comet Elinin, whereas in actual fact it could be all just bloody uh, 